Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. What I have here is the Custom Knife Factory Gratch. I think the full name is, oh god, I'm going to butcher this name, Malashev Gratch. Um, this is a mid-tech, I guess, production knife made by the Custom Knife Factory. Uh, I've always been impressed with uh, Custom Knife Factory's uh, work. Uh, of course, the first Custom Knife Factory uh, knife that I saw was uh, Menevade's Decepticon. I mean, the intricacy and the different cuts on the titanium on the Decepticon was just super impressive. And it was amazingly smooth. One of the smoothest production knives. I keep saying production. Yeah, I guess. I mean, they call themselves Custom Knife Factory. But yeah, I think it's a production knife. But yeah. One of the smoothest knives I've ever uh, had the pleasure of flipping. And I got to check them out even more at Blade Show this year and definitely impressive. My only, uh, <clears throat> my only, uh, the only hink was that I wasn't, I wasn't too crazy about, it just wasn't my style, the design of the, the Decepticon. It was just too, for me. It was just too much going on. A lot of people love it. Nick loves it. Uh, for me, it was just a little too much going on. I like more, more uh, less flashy knives. And so the Gratch became available. And I got to, you know, I purchased it. Got to check it out. Uh, it's just gorgeous. It's sim uh, simplicity in design. And it's just a beautiful flipper. Just gorgeous. Look at the flipper tab. No jimping, but the design is just, again, more conducive for um, uh, push-button deployment, titanium hardware. That's crazy that you get that for uh, a production knife. This one is a liner lock. Titanium liners with carbon fiber scales. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. It's just really, really well done. I mean, I just love the design of it. I mean, it's just beautiful. The blade steel is M390 steel, Bowler M390. And they have, now again, this is a production knife, folks, but it's marketed as a hand rub steel. I don't know if it's hand rubbed. They say it's hand rub. Uh, it looks like hand rub. I mean, that's amazing. I don't know if hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah. Beautiful flat grind. You can see like the sideways satin on it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice drop point blade. The scales, the carbon fiber scales are a little bit offset so that you can see the titanium liners. No lanyard hole, which might be an issue for some lanyard bead guys. Uh, yeah, again, it's a backspacer, titanium backspacer. Some of their knives, like Joe has, uh, he just recently got the uh, Konigen T90, and that has, like, um, standoffs, I believe. Yeah, let's take a look at this knife. Let's just take a look at it. I love the contouring on the carbon fiber. These are machined scales. I just love everything about it. It's just very... It's, it's beveled. The shaping of the carbon fiber is very exquisite. The design itself is, uh, and again, there's no jimping, folks. No jimping. But again, your finger kind of like locks, it, locks up on the grip. But uh, I don't know if you, hopefully you guys can see the, the way they shape the carbon fiber scale. It's just really beautiful. There's their logo. Very subtle. That's one thing I want to point out. Nothing on the blade steel. Right? Nothing really on the scales, on the pocket clip. Very sterile except for that very subtle KF for the knife factory. I love that. I love that. So you can see the offsetting of the scales, how the titanium rises above it a little bit. And I'll, 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 I'll say why that's pretty cool in a minute. There's a light bronzing. Hopefully it shows on the scales. Very light, very subtle. You might not even be able to see it. You can see that the blade, it's almost deceptively 
look it looks deceptively large it almost looks like it's bigger than the handle and when you close it you can see that it definitely maximizes the scale to blade ratio I mean it pretty much uses up they put as much blade as they could fit into those scales the design itself just is what drew me to it, right? Because again, I wasn't too crazy about the Decepticon, but this one is more my uh, more my wheelhouse. I mean, what does this look like to you guys? To me, it looks a little bit southern. It looks a little bit laconico. Joe Bananas thinks it looks a little bit like a sheer garb. I agree. I agree. Just a beautiful knife. Right. It's nice that they give you the titanium hardware, everything titanium. So what's cool about this is like if you desire, you could still have this pimp, have these anodized. You could send this to Joe Bananas or your favorite knife modifier out there. I mean it's just ripe for pimping. The scales you can match the the backspacer to the blue anodizing if you'd like, or whatever color you want. Or you could change this to another color. The liners too. I mean, it's just... I mean, they put a lot. Now, the cost of this was like more reasonable, more affordable. I know it's still a lot of money. It's about 370 bucks, But it's definitely more affordable than custom knives. So if you ever want to check out a pretty cool knife that... Uh, to, uh, now, I don't have a Laconico. I don't have a Southern. I don't have a Shurgarov. And for me, this kind of like, you know, appeases me a little bit because I get to, to, you know, check it out. And it's a great flipper. Just an awesome flipper. I think it does have a steel liner insert, right? Right, to make the lockup last longer. Uh huh. What do you guys think? It's pretty, pretty cool looking knife. I think. I think. I just love the overall design. I hope, I hope this is something that Custom Knife Factory is going to uh, produce more, more um, for guys like me that don't want something too flashy, too complicated. I mean, definitely the uh, Decepticon put them on the map because everyone's like, "What is that? Let me check that out." But now they're leaning more to more traditional blade shapes and handle scales. I love that this is a, a liner lock. That seems to be my choice uh, folder these days. Just beautiful, folks. Get some. I mean, the carbon fiber is just flawless. Hopefully, I can capture some of it. I mean, just. Really nice. Imagine if they start doing like more, more exotic, uh, more exotic uh, scales like linen, uh, Westinghouse micarta, which is my favorite. I know it gets dirty, white Westinghouse micarta, paper micarta gets dirty, but I don't have anything like that. So that's like on my um, must haves. That's on my grill to get uh, white Westinghouse micarta, kind of like what the bandit has on his Lambert. I think it was his, it's his Orion MGT. Yeah, look at the design of the flipper. See the lockup. Lockup is fairly early. Well, let's say it's like 50%, which is fine. So they milled this down a little bit, the liners, to, to accommodate unlocking the blade. Yeah, folks. Uh, yeah, these are available now. Again, check it out. It's pretty cool. Pretty impressive. So that's a Custom Knife Factory Malashev Gratch. Don't know what the Gratch means. It's pretty neat. All right, folks. Peace.